Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, guys. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Emil's Yar 87. Now, as we've seen in the past, these Emil's truck conversions have been very interesting because he takes normal trucks and trailers in some cases and uh, either turns them up to 11 or just makes them a lot more functional than they originally were. So we're going to be taking a look at his Yar, which appears on the surface to be pretty pedestrian. However, it's about as far from pedestrian as you can get, as we'll see once we get into the garage. Or at least I'm hoping so, because I haven't taken it into the garage yet, and I don't want to look like a massive liar. So, with that being said, let's fire it up and drive it into the garage and see what we can do. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are fans of the normal Yar 87, because it is a very, very capable scout rig. So, straight into the customization, we go ahead and... Oh, God! So we've got the normal KR-135T, as of AM-4V-146, Emil's Scout Engine Stage 7, which gives you S-plus speed. You also have the as of AM-4V-160, and Emil's Scout Engine Stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, wait, 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 two Stage 5s, a Stage 6, and then a Stage 7. I am confused. There shouldn't be two of those. Technically, this should be stage eight. Man, all the Subaru guys are getting real excited right about it. Bro, is that a stage eight Cobb tune? Anywho, let's throw the stage seven engine on this thing. And now let's throw the, oh, 16 auto gears, three low gears, and one high gear. Or the Snowrunner gearbox or the freeway gearbox. Ah, a16, why not? Suspension raised, 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 raised. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're starting with a 49, but we've got just about every tire option you could ever want. It goes up to a 51, 52, 49. Oh, no way. Is, is 52 as high as it goes? There's no way 52 is as high as it goes. These are all 51s. You didn't have to put every single tire in here. There's like, it's cool, but there are some tires that I know nobody is going to use. Oh God. Well, hey, Bluetooth hubs in full effect, boys. <laughs> SEMA 2020 ready. It's still going. I've just got my, like, my finger held down on the down arrow on the d-pad it's just still going like whoa wait a minute were those dualies oh that's pretty sick you can put dualies on this th that's pretty sick okay i i can get behind that that's a little bit that, that's a little bit cooler i whoa 52 inch hummer tires which we know are some of the most effective in the game that's really cool 49 inch hummer tires He's done just about everything. I mean, there's not really much that he's that he's skipped over here. And I don't really think that he's skipped over anything, to be fair. Oh my god, give me the freaking mud tire. Well, it's kind of giving me the mud tires right now, but I just want the 52s, not the 51s. There we go. I'm just... Aha! There's the mud tires. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes. Yes. Aha! Tega wheels and tires. Yes. Yes. Now, if there's a 49 of them, there's also going to be a 51 of them, and there's also going to be a 52 of them. So, we're going to go with the 52 inch Tega wheels and tires because they're insanely wide. But, I do want to see. Like, I do want to see where this where this actually ends because this is the longest list of tires that I have ever seen in my life. Like, wait a minute. Are those just the same thing? Different... Wait. Yo, the 49s have a different offset than the 51s. So it's not even that they're different sizes, it's that they're different offsets. And then that's the 51 with a wide offset. That's so weird. 
I mean, it's cool, and I can get behind it, but I've never seen any other vehicle really do that. Same ones, again, with a different setup. That's... I mean, it's confusing as all. Like, all get out, but like... Oh, yes. 52s. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to find those in a 52. I was really worried, actually, that I wasn't going to be able to find those in a 52. Okay, so now you basically have a version of almost everything just chained. And I know that I always like to show every single tire option, but geez, this is a bit excessive. There's... I don't even want to I don't even want to know how many different tires there are. I mean, there's there's got to be over 100 and I don't know how I don't know how you even get to that. Oh wait, Emil's ultimate winch. There we go. Yeah, I don't even know how you get to that point. It's just so ridiculously insane. Okay, uh wait. Oh, well, whatever. Might might as well buy the like a $1 one. Okay. Factory beacons, twin horns, Bumper winch. I'll definitely do the bumper winch. And let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, rear bumper removal. Oh, okay. I was like, what is the what is the point of that? It's just weird. Hinged, single bar, fog lighter. Let's see. Bumper delete. Which actually kind of looks dare I say kind of cool. A little wacky, but kind of cool. I do like. I do like the single bar though. The single bar looks looks actually kind of kind of cool in my opinion. All right, now for the color on this thing. I do think the orange looks really good, but I also think that it looks good in like yeah, some of these two tone colors. Pink, yes, ultimate stream color there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm kind of like. I'm kind of partial to, like, the default color because I feel like it's just, like, the default color combination is just so well known for this thing. Now, we've got the, we've got the apparently most ultimate engine we can get, apparently the most ultimate transmission we can get, and let's put it all to the test. Oh my god. Slow down. Yeah, this thing is stupid fast. I feel like this thing is just, if you used this in a campaign mission, I mean, you would literally be, you would basically be so overpowered that it wouldn't even be funny anymore. All right, how fast are you actually? Like genuinely, how fast are you? Turn! It's pretty dang fast. The only thing is, obviously once it nudges a wheel off the road, it's kind of done at that point now oh i know what test i gotta put it through i bet you it can go through the dips up there without without ever touching the front end or the back end of the rig well maybe once or twice maybe once or twice i gotta not necessarily take that back but kind of just put it out there and like it might do it but it also might not okay yeah never mind well Okay, well, if you go slow, so it actually barely just scrapes the bumper, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, it's like you just got to watch out for it. Oh, 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 God. It was bouncing around all over the place. Threw it in a second to see if it would do anything. Come on. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's take it off the jump. I have a feeling it's it's either going to go really far or not far at all. But it's going to be one of those two options. Come on. Not very far, actually. Not as far as I had envisioned it going. The only thing about it is it is tremendously stiff. There we go. Start it back up. Thank you. It's tremendously stiff. I mean, that's the only thing I don't like about it is I wish there was a little bit more flex in the suspension. I wish there was a little bit more give. Nice front flip, bro. 10 out of 10. 
Oh god, don't flip over. It's it gets a little it gets a little tippy from time to time. I'm not going to lie. Like it gets a little bit too tippy, and that's because it is so ridiculously stiff. And there's ways around that, but oh god. Well, it takes forever to slow it down. That's like for dang sure. It takes absolutely forever to slow it down. Go away. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's go. Sixth. Ninth. Oh, my God. It's going to make the... Whoa! Whoa! I think we broke something. We definitely broke the suspension because it's slammed now. God, when you repair it, it jumps up like crazy. The shocks aren't even freaking connected. What the heck? I mean, it is super OP. And I don't know. I mean, would I call it the ultimate Yar? I mean, I don't know if I would. I mean, it's cool. It's definitely a bit of a novelty. But at the same time, I don't know if it's actually useful in objective-based... Well, not even that it's not even useful in objective-based gameplay. Like... I don't know if it's a mod that you'll end up sticking with for a long time. And I'll link it in the description below so you guys can try it out for yourselves, of course. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know, again, what you thought of it. And if you're new around here, do consider hitting that subscribe button and definitely click that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time.